pigs make hunting a year-round endeavor now. Uh, they're fun to hunt, and they're a lot smarter than most people think, just because they're pigs or hogs, whatever you want to call them. A lot of people don't uh, respect them. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, if you become a, a good hog hunter, pig hunter, whatever, you become a better deer and elk hunter. I sincerely believe that. And the reason why is because uh, a deer and an elk, I don't know if they have a better nose than a hog does. A hog has got about as good a nose as there is on the planet. All right, so I've gotten down here in the wood pile and I'm set up behind this old stump right here. So I want you to take a look at this little magazine. It revolves when I cock it. What's this? Well, see there, it revolves. Got a little manual safety right here, but isn't that pretty? Got little ducks on here. It needs to have a monkey on there. And, maybe a pig in a little bit, but we're going to sit put here and see if somebody comes within range. I see something walking way back in there in the woods. They're kind of trying to filter up in here. But when that sun comes out, we're going to, have to be real careful how we move, guys. Otherwise, we're going to get busted. Oh, the river of cheese is starting to flow now. You may look out there and think, what kind of cattle feed is that? This cheese way. They bring it in the 18-wheeler truckloads every day. This is a feedlot. Thousand acres of cattle, fat cattle. They raise them up, take them off to the store, and we eat them. And they also raise a lot of hogs out here, wild hogs. And we're here to do our part to take them home. They're moving in now big time. This is good. Just need to keep our heads down and our fingers crossed. Come on, we need a little guy to show up. I don't want to shoot a big one. Perfectly, perfect, perfect, perfect. The pig ski man, that's the perfect eating size. And I put it right in his brain, and he went down, bam, just the way you're supposed to. The old monkey killer. Mm-hmm. Sticky. Come on up here, baby. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm gonna show you this. This is so cool. Look at the little pellet hole right here, right in the ear. When you wind up hitting them there, they do exactly what that one did. Oh, instantly. It's the same kind of pellet that I wound up using in Africa on the monkey. It's uh, uh, the Diablo. And uh, when you take a look at it, exact king heavy. You know, there's a, I mean, look at that coagulated blood right in here. The, uh, the thing about pellets is, there are people that are, are making lightweight pellets now so they can get the FPS up the foot per second up to the velocity. But when you get the velocity up so high, you lose the energy when it hits. And so it's real important to kind of find what you're comfortable with and confident in. And this little heavy pellet, although it's gonna slow down the velocity, uh, the energy delivery is unbelievable. And when you hit them in the right spot, they go down, bam. This is a really good size eating pig right here. And that old wood pile paid off again. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy taken care of and then uh, eat some breakfast right here at Hog Wild Adventures. This video is brought to you by Axel and the GS Extreme All-in-One Wireless Earbuds. These earbuds provide protection from high frequency sounds, but enhance your ability to hear low decibel frequencies like a big buck sneaking up from behind your tree stand. Click the link in our description now to get up to 65% off your pair today. You know, there's things that you can't control when you're, when you're spotting and stalking. Although, as a good hunter, we try to control everything we can. And uh, 
I guess the reason why I like spot stock hunting the most is because when it works out and you're able to get your hands on that animal, that's about as good as it gets. Little guys. Hmm. The wind's going that way. It's good to know. They got a whiff of us. That's what happens. sleeping underneath this tree, 86 yards. The problem is it's on this side of the tree, so we gotta be real, real careful. Keep as many trees as we can between the, us and him, and move slow. There was a bunch of pigs in there. I mean, a bunch. We walked right up to them and they were sound asleep. And I mean, there was a bunch of pigs in there. Holy smokes. Man, they bust me over, over and over and over again. And finally, it was like, I gotta slow down, I gotta slow down. It's gotten hot, the pigs were laid up there. And we only saw two, but there were probably six of them that took off, so let's go see what we got. That's beautiful. And to do it, spot and stalk is just so rewarding. You know, I, years ago, I started doing spot and stalk hunting and that's for hogs. And it, it has made, in my opinion, it's made me a better hunter. And the reason why it's taught me how to pay close attention to the wind and, uh, and your conditions. I mean, pay attention to how quiet you're walking and, and all, but take a look at this. This is, a, this is a really good pig right here. Probably 130 pounds, I'm guessing. Nice. My name is Keith Warren, and I've killed more wild hogs using a larger variety of hunting methods than any other hunter. I love killing hogs, and I'm dang good at it. And if you watch this video in its entirety, I guarantee you, you'll become a more successful hog hunter too, no matter what method you choose.